Hi, I'm Kenny Coleman, a Senior Manager for Tanzu Technical Marketing. And in this short demonstration, I will show you how to use Tanzu Kubernetes Grid with Amazon Web Services to create a Kubernetes cluster with GPU-enabled nodes that can be used for things like artificial intelligence, machine learning, or any application which needs that level of computational power. To set the stage, I've already provisioned my management cluster to AWS using the Tanzu CLI. As a quick refresh, I will never run any application directly on the management cluster. This is only going to have the cluster API components necessary to talk to my infrastructure and will be responsible for the lifecycle management of all my workload clusters. Next, I will need to choose the type of virtual machine I want to use. Amazon has lots of instance types to fit nearly any budget based on the number of GPUs, GPU memory, virtual CPUs, and standard memory. For this example, I'm going to use the G4DN8 Extra Large Instance Type. To create a new workload cluster, I made a copy of the deployment manifest that was created after the management cluster was deployed. The only thing I needed to do is edit the node machine type to match the instance type that I want to use. After editing that line, I can save the file and then use Tanzu Create Cluster and give my cluster any name I want and then specify the file. However, this cluster manifest had already been previously applied, so I can list my Tanzu clusters and I can see that GPU workloads cluster has already been deployed and I can verify that with inside of the AWS web console as well. To interact with the workload cluster, I need to retrieve the cube config using the Tanzu CLI and then set my context to the new GPU workloads cluster. Now that the cluster has been created, it's time to apply the NVIDIA GPU cluster policy and the NVIDIA GPU operator. In the documentation for Tanzu Kubernetes Grid for deploying workload clusters to AWS, there is a section about GPU enabled clusters. There's a link that will open up the raw code for the GPU cluster policy resource definition and the GPU operator components. Both of these are supported by different versions of Tanzu Kubernetes Grid. You can save these locally with a simple wget on the web address. If you do ever run into any issues, it's possible to pull down newer versions. By going to the GitHub page for the AWS provider for cluster API, you can select the release tags and choose a newer release. In this example, I can select version 1.5.0 then dive into the branch of code and start drilling down to find the YAML files. Here, I'm gonna to go to the test, end-to-end, -end, data, infrastructure, AWS, customize resources, and then finally the GPU folder to get the updated versions. Now that I have these NVIDIA GPU resources from the cluster API provider for AWS repository, I can apply the first cluster policy custom resource definition. This only takes a quick second to complete. Next, we need to apply the GPU operator. Through this process, we will put a watch on the pods to see how it changes. The GPU operator pods went up quickly and they're already there doing a feature discovery mechanism. The second pod to be created is the daemon set and this is going to be in the GPU operator resources namespace. The next pod is the toolkit and that allows the Linux container to access full GPU accelerations and all graphic APIs are supported, including OpenGL, Vulkan, OpenCL, CUDA, Invec, and more. From there, a device plugin daemon set is created, and then it finalizes with the validation pod. And since we're up and running, let's go ahead and run some basic tests to make sure it's working. The standard CUDA vector add test comes directly from the NVIDIA documentation. The first example will run a simple CUDA that adds two vectors together. After viewing the logs of the pod, we can see that the test passed as expected. Let's go ahead and skip to the final example of running a Jupyter Notebook. Instead of taking this Kubernetes deployment and running it as expected from the documentation, let's go ahead and download it with a simple wget. Next, I'm going to edit the YAML to change this to be a more native AWS construct by removing node port and substituting it with a load balancer. After applying this deployment, it's gonna take a few minutes to fetch the containers and run it, as well as connect it to an elastic load balancer service. And once the new service has been created, we can open up a new tab in our browser to the endpoint and then we can tail the logs of the running pod. Within that pod, there is a token that needs to be appended to the end of the web address. After adding the token, we can see that the Jupyter Notebook is available and we can begin using it. Thanks for watching this quick demonstration of how easy it is to deploy GPU-enabled Kubernetes clusters using Tanzu Kubernetes Grid with Amazon Web Services. Please make sure you always refer to the documentation for the latest updates.